What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we got 26 sacreds. I don't know if I'm going to pull them all though. So the clan boss has been extremely generous and what happens is when he's extremely generous, he becomes very stingy. So we might have 26 sacreds this time, but in six weeks time, we might only have like 15. So I probably am going to have to hold on to six. We're definitely going to pull at least 20. Um, but you know, I might get mad and start raging and pull some more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how generous the raid gods are. Also, I just wanted to have an overlook of my account and look at who the best champions are that I've pulled this year or best champion. So for me, it's got to be Hepafrek as my number one. Use him all the time for arena. Just an absolute beast. Um, really cool mechanics that you can use on him as well. And I started to use him to like speed farm tag arena and stuff. Love him. Great champion. Uh, honorable mention, Lissandra, very old school, great champion, but she's, she's still good. Definitely good for like PV and stuff, but not so great for arena anymore. Um, Uko, a second Uko. Um, so now I've got one for Hydra and one specifically built for arena. Uh, I love his kit. I'm sure everyone here loves him as well. Great fusion. And then probably the last two champions, or the last champion is Elva. So I've got two Elvas this year. One's built out, one still needs work. Um, probably going to build one for Live Arena and one for Hydra, but such a great champion, just so strong for content. Um, she is just an instant six star if you get her. But yeah, guys, let me know who you've pulled this year. Who is your number one champion? I would love to know. Um, also, just before we start putting shards, I'm doing a count takeover. If you want to win, all you got to do is like, subscribe, drop a comment below and join me on Discord as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but the only reason I ask that you join me on Discord is so that if you do win, I can get in contact with you and let you know that you've won. So let's not delay this any further. Let's start pulling some sacreds. Hopefully we get a nice new shiny legendary Hellgazer trash. Okay, two in. Corvus, Corvus. This guy is an absolute beast. Um, I know he's really good for Hydra, really good for uh, Dragon um, Hard Mode Ten. You can actually use him to do speed runs. Um, I don't, I don't really know too much about his kit, but yeah, he does poisons. But yeah, really good champion. And yeah, bit strange looking though. I think that's like you know medieval doctor right there. But yeah, back in the day, no, back in the day, he's like a really good champion. Oh, God, back to back. <sighs> Sathalia. So this is a dupe for me. She's a really good champion, though. Um, you can use her in like Tagarina as a stripper. She strips and she heals. She's a great champion, but it's not the one we're looking for. Three in a row. Oh, <laughs> Ella Gaius. <laughs> Go away. Okay. So this guy, I think that's my third one. He's pretty trash, to be honest. Um, yeah, just not great at all. Um, yeah, su <laughs> such a shame. But yeah, he's just... I think when he first came out, people were like, oh, he's going to be amazing for Doom Tower. You know, he's going to carry my team. And I've just... I've put so many resources into him. Don't, don't make the same mistake as me. I put a lot of resource into him. And yeah, I've just never used him. Okay, this is cool. This is a new champion. This is a new orc. I've not seen her before. Um, let's just have a quick look at her kit. Each time this champion hits, increases their defense. Stags up to 20. Okay, that's pretty cool. Revive on all allies by two turns. Okay. Removes all debuff from a target ally, then heals them by 50% of their max HP. Attacks one enemy two times and has a good chance of putting out decreased defense. Interesting champion. She looks pretty solid to me. Um, yeah, I could definitely see her being very usable. Okay. Juliana, Trashiana. Here we go. Four Legos. <laughs> Bivowed. My God, another dupe. Um, he's a good champion. I use him. I think the furthest I used him in Hydra is in for Brutal. 
Um, so it's good to have a second one because he, you know, he provokes. Um, he does have a lot in his kit, but yeah, he's a good champion. Oh, McGaelic, one of my most hated champions. Just awful, awful champion. Just dodge him. Spider, really underrated, great champion. Um, does a weaken and decrease defense. Um, yeah, really, really good champion. And he can also remove a random uh, buff on his A1. Really, really good champion. And he's really good for Spider, ironically, as well. Oh, here we go. Creela the Watcher. So this is another new champion. I don't really know a kit, to be honest. Uh, whenever an ally is attacked while under ally protection, we'll place decreased defense on the attacker. That's really nice. That could probably be used for like Hydra. So she's got ally protection and increased defense. Okay, so she puts that across the whole team. Nice. Also, for that decreased accuracy, this can also be used for Hydra. Uh, Hydra. You know, it stops them being able to throw out debuffs on you. And she also... Yeah, she's got like a nice kit. She could definitely be used for Hydra. Uh, let's see what the reviews are saying. Yeah, like all round like a sort of solid four. Pretty good champion. But seriously, what's happening today? Is that that's legendary number five? Have, having some insane luck. But we're not really getting a champion that's going to make a big difference on my account. Not yet anyway. Seeker. This guy is awesome. Um, I've got three of them built out. Um, you can use him for arena offense. You can build him in a defense build for arena as well. And also, unkillable clan boss team comps. He's a god. Definitely a champion worth investing in. Dr I think this guy is new on my account. He looks pretty new. Like the daggers. Sort of reminds me of some of the new stuff from Marvel coming out. And it's Durandal. Durandal. God, I'm butchering that. <laughs> but yeah, let me know how, how to pronounce it properly. Uh, Maeve, she's all right. Nothing too special. Not that spicy. Oathbound, he's okay. Can be used for faction wars. Uh, old man hermit, or old hermit even. He's pretty cool. Um, he's... Like, you could just use him for faction wars. He will carry you for it as a reviver. Speaking of revivers, Horus is also a reviver as well. If you're struggling in skinwalkers, bring her in and she will keep the whole team alive. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got six sacred left. And let's just, let's just take it back a sec. I just want to count how many legendaries we've pulled. Uh, so rarity, wide screen. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five legendaries, two, three dupes, and one actually yeah, one decent champion and one sort of above average. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I should have better discipline. But I want. Here we go, boys. Oh my, okay. Koragu, Death Bell. He's meant to be an absolute god for Hydra. What are the reviews saying? Hydra, 4.9. Faction Wars, Demon Lords. Pretty much everywhere. He's like almost a five. Um, great champion. Ally protection, strengthen. Oh, does some sort of like turn meter manipulation. And also removes... Debuffs from allies, so he does cleanse, cleansing as well. And he heals this champion by 10% of max HP. Looks like a really nice champion and can also tank. He's got that increased resistance and increased defense as well. So like a really tanky champion. Definitely looks like he's made for Hydra. And definitely for other content as well if you need someone that can do ally protection. Solid, solid champion. Let's keep going, boys. Six out of 26, I mean... That is amazing. Uh, Fane as well. A great clan boss champion, especially for unkillable. Dirk the Pierced. I don't rate him. I think he's a little bit overrated. I personally wouldn't invest in him. Wrecked to Draft, an amazing champion. The only thing I don't like about her is because of her animation, she slows down dungeon runs a lot. But she is still pretty good. 
Soul Drinker. He's kind of a cool champion. You can do a lot with him. Um, yeah, and he's quite unique, quite a cool passive. And that's it. We're out of legendaries. But man, we got two absolute beasts right there. But damn, guys, like Koruga and Chorus. I mean, both of them are amazing champions for Hydra. Hopefully, I could build some sort of team out of them. Let me know what you guys would do with them and what are you doing with them? Like, are you what are you using them in any dungeons? Can you use them in any hard modes as well? But yeah, thank you so much for being guys. Please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll catch you in a video soon. Peace.